Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another review. Today we're gonna to be reviewing this 2015 Infiniti Q60 IPL convertible. So to anyone who doesn't know already, the IPL line basically stands for the Infiniti Performance Line. So there's a few things that are different about this Q60 compared to a regular Q60. But first I wanna start off on the exterior. Now this owner specifically actually does have this as his daily driver and also an R35 GTR. So pretty much you like we put the two cars next to each other and they look very very similar like the way he has this infinity done and to start off this exterior paint color is actually the majestic white factory paint color i really like it it's like kind of like a pearlish white metallic white i don't know if the camera is really going to pick it up but it does look really awesome and then moving on to the interior it does have this red interior from factory now the IPL Q60s actually only had two exterior paint options, either white or black, and then the only two interior color options, either the red leather or gray leather. So this is the white with the red, and I think it looks awesome. I also did want to talk about these black wheels because they are the OEM like factory wheels, but they are powder coated pearl black. And one thing with this car, you will see just a bunch of like little minor stuff that the owner added from factory that makes it just that much better, including like something as simple as this with like the red uh, valve stem caps. But yeah, so these wheels are 19 inches all the way around. They are actually offset in the rear. The rears are a little bit wider. And speaking about the back here, these rear wheels are actually wrapped in Hankook uh, Ventus V12 Evo 2 tires, and they are 245s by 40s by 19s in the rear. And then moving on to the front, they are 225s by 45s by 19s. But overall, I do really like how this car looks from the exterior as well as the interior. And you can tell, obviously, we have the top down today simply because it is such a nice day out. But yeah, I mean, coming around to the front as well, I think this front fascia is actually pretty aggressive, honestly, from factory. But yeah, I do like the overall appearance of this car. And actually, moving back to the wheels, underneath the wheels, you can actually see the brakes that are developed by Brembo. They are Brembo brakes. And if you couldn't tell already, this car is sitting a little bit lower from factory, and that's because this specific Infiniti Q60 IPL is actually on H&R Springs, as well as SPC camber arms in both the front and the rear and also one last thing i did want to talk about on the exterior is that all the lighting like the headlights the taillights everything uh, all switched out for led bulbs all right guys so now we actually have the hood popped on this 2015 infinity q60 ipl and underneath the hood you can see the 3.7 liter four valve per cylinder double overhead cam uh, naturally aspirated v6 engine that actually powers this thing now this is a naturally aspirated, it's not like the newer Q60 engines where I believe they're twin turbos, which uh, is something that I'm actually pretty excited for because me personally, if you haven't been subscribed to my channel, I've done a couple videos on the new 400Z now and I'm very, you know, looking forward to that new Nissan 400Z and I believe that should have the newer Q60 powertrain in it that is the twin turbo V6. But again, this is a little bit older, it's not naturally aspirated. And from factory, it does make 343 brake horsepower at 7400 rpms and 273 foot pounds of torque at 5200 rpm so just under uh you know 350 horsepower and for the most part this owner hasn't really done any i guess power adding modifications to this car but he did put in like little k and in a drop in air filters i guess they're the reusable air filters so you don't have to keep you know changing them you could just kind of clean them. Now, as far as fuel economy is concerned, it's uh, right around where you'd expect a naturally aspirated V6 to be. It can actually get 18 miles per gallon during city driving and 26 miles per gallon dur during highway driving for a combined average of 20 miles per gallon in total. And one thing that was a little bit surprising when researching this car is it actually does have a 20 gallon fuel tank, which is actually pretty big for a car like this, at least in my opinion. So that being said, it does have a range on a full tank of gas of 360 city miles and 520 highway miles. Also, this car does deliver its power through a seven speed shiftable automatic transmission, which was the only transmission offered for this year Q60 IPL. And I believe this goes without saying, but this car is a rear wheel drive to anyone who might not know Infinities very well. And also this car does have an independent suspension in the rear, so you're not gonna be dealing with the live rear axle. 
So that definitely is going to be enjoyable for me, definitely coming from my uh, specific S197 Mustang that I personally drive, which does have that live rear axle. So now closing the hood, and actually moving on to the interior. I did want to spend some time and talk about this interior because it looks really, really good. And even something that came out back in, I guess, 2015, which some people might consider dated. I still think that this specific Infiniti's interior is really, really awesome. You can see the red leather, even on the door cards here, obviously red leather seats all the way around. Uh, you do have the paddle shifters right here and the paddle shifters actually do stay in place. You can see I'm moving the steering wheel a little bit and they stay kind of planted right there, which uh, surprisingly a lot of cars actually have the paddle shifters attached to the steering wheel, which I really don't like. One other feature that is pretty cool about this specific Q60 IPL is that it actually came with a premium 13 speaker uh, Bose sound system, which you can actually see two of the speakers right behind the front two seats right here. I guess that's enough talking about the interior. Now I'm actually going to take this thing out for a drive and show you guys my initial reactions. All right, guys, so now I'm actually driving this uh, 2015 Infiniti Q60 IPL and launching it. This is a fun car. I mean, you could feel, the first thing I notice uh, about driving this car is the suspension is very tight. You can feel those aftermarket springs. I mean, from factory, I'm pretty sure these Infinities are uh, pretty, you know, good handling cars in general. I mean, uh, personally, again, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, I'm used to my, you know, 2008 Mustang, which has that live rear axle on this. Uh, the, you can definitely tell the difference with the independent rear suspension in the back there because, I mean, it just eats up bumps. And even taking some of these corners. Stays very planted to the ground. You have plenty of grip too with the uh, hand-cooked tires that are on this car. Uh, even when, because right now I'm driving it in sport mode and pretty much in sport mode, you have to use the paddle shifters. Uh, you can also use them when they're in like, I guess the regular drive mode, but when it's in sport, it basically just acts like a, you know, full-time kind of manual, I guess. And the paddle shifters are pretty damn responsive as well. I know some of the older model, model vehicles, it uh, doesn't really matter what manufacturer they're from, but some of the older model vehicles, when they start, you started really using the paddle shifters, they were uh, not really as responsive and you got a little bit of delay with them, but for the most part, these, there is no real delay at all. And even when downshifting, like just there, uh, you got a little like exhaust noise, which is kind of funny because again, the entire, exhaust system on this car is all stock uh so it's stock catalytic converters stock resonators or mufflers i don't know how many are specifically on this car but it's not really a loud car but like right there uh you just downshift it you get a little a little bit of you know some burbles here and there which is kind of funny suspension it's a little bit more uh, bouncy when you're going faster but it's very very responsive uh, but I mean this car isn't uncomfortable I don't mean it like you know it's super bouncy it's uncomfortable it's really not but hitting this straightaway right here thing too uh, a lot of car enthusiasts specifically don't really like convertibles that much but I mean me personally I, I like convertibles I know they uh, slow you down at you know top speed higher speeds because of the drag uh, but it's still an awesome feeling especially driving something like this on a nice day I don't know I just think it's a lot more fun without a roof on the car <laughs> I briefly touched on um, 
uh, comfort before, but the seats actually kind of hold you in place very well, especially for more, I guess, luxurious seats. They have, they're also automatic, at least these front two seats are, and they have a bunch of different settings. You know, you can adjust the lumbar, the pitch and everything. So they're definitely designed to be more uh, comfort based than performance based, but they do actually do a pretty damn good job of holding you in as well. guys well that's pretty much it for today's video again if you haven't already definitely be sure to subscribe because right at 1500 subscribers I'm gonna be doing my very first giveaway and I'm pretty much just gonna be giving away a hundred dollars worth of my merchandise to one subscriber and one subscriber only and literally all you have to do to be entered is subscribe that's like literally it and it definitely helps me out a lot as a smaller YouTuber and we're only around like 100 subscribers away to 1500 so but anyways guys like always thank you for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one